guys. It's time to reorganize the kitchen. Juice, a juice made of spinach, apple, and ginger. And the third one will be a shot of ginger and garlic. This morning's breakfast is mangoes. Mangoes are quite easy to make. You cut them off the seed on each side and then you score it and then you just slide it on the glass like I am and it comes right off the skin. For lunch, it's watermelon. Today's watermelon is not organic, so I take a little tip from the Medical Medium Life-Changing Food Book and say a little prayer to the Angel of Disarmament to help remove all those pesticides. I love having watermelon for lunch. So simple and easy and no dishes to wash. That's the best part. For dinner, I'm having a green salad again. And tonight I'm using arugula, which gives it a nice little spice to it. And I'm mixing it with some butter leaf lettuce. Next, I'm adding some thinly sliced sweet onions. Then I'm adding some grape tomatoes cut in fourths. Finally, I'm adding some Persian cucumbers, sliced in half and then thinly sliced. For the dressing, I am going to be using lemon juice, maple syrup, and black pepper once again. Then you just take it and drizzle it all over your salad. And you're done! This dressing is so good. It is so easy to make and it brings out the flavors of each vegetable. I am really enjoying this and it is making my meals so much more enjoyable than it was before. After dinner, I still was a bit hungry so I decided to have half a watermelon. And you know what? This was perfect. So today the weather is a little chilly and that's usually when I get the frozen toes and frozen fingers. And so that's the only symptom that I think I have today, which is pretty good. I did catch a little bit of a cold or something, I'm not sure, but my nose was a little stuffy. That also could be detox symptoms as well. So, um, but other than that, um, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I was just listening to the medical medium's um, little SoundCloud radio show that he did on protein. He kind of touched upon eating too much fat and what that means to someone who is trying to heal. And it just kind of backed up what I'm doing right here. And maybe that's why intuitively I felt like I needed to do this no fat and no salt um, for a while. And basically he said that fat slows down or even puts a stop to the body purging or detoxing heavy metals and which I have learned is 
virus's number one food source or a food source and um, and also prevents you from detoxing the virus so I guess you know in in a nutshell too much fat slows down the whole healing process so I wanted to take my healing to another level and I thought why not document it for everybody and for myself and um, this is the best time of year for me to do something like this eating raw during the winter time is very difficult if you are in a colder climate or the temperatures drop a little bit so summer is like the best time to do a raw cleanse or eat raw food or really lessen your fat because it's warm enough and um, I enjoy it it's a lot easier for myself and you don't end up feeling so cold or craving those warm foods or cooked foods like I do during the winter time so this is why I'm doing it and um, yeah feel free to join along if you want don't forget if you have any questions or would like to, for me to speak about a topic or, or any concerns that you may be looking for what have I experienced, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to try to answer it in the next following. Well, we got a hundred videos, people. So I got a lot of videos to answer your guys' questions. So please feel free. I, I would love for you guys to ask questions and allow me to share what I can through my experiences. It won't be diagnosis, it won't be, you know, from an expertise. I can only share my own experiences, but sometimes that is enough support for others too. I'll see you guys tomorrow.